When it comes to uh, you know, it comes to faith, some people have different viewpoints with regard to politics. Some people say that you know you should you know, should be totally engaged. You've got the, the Christian right and some of those examples. On the other end, you have you know some people say you know what that should have nothing to do with it. Just keep it completely out. So I want to get your opinions on what role you think your faith should play in politics. Well, I think it goes back to I mean you've got to know what you believe, and you know anybody that runs for office truly has to have a a core belief, and I think that's where you see some politicians uh, not do so well. You mm -hmm. know, the waffling comes to mind yeah. that we're, you know, um, but certainly faith. I mean, I, I will be very honest. I mean, when I first, you know, toyed with getting into politics back in, in 2007, I mean, it really, I mean, obviously, I talked to my family and my friends, and but it really was something that I was, you know, and I, I said, I, I kind of live by, you know, thy will be done, because I was, I truly was like, God, you know, is this the right way? I, I don't know. And so I feel like he, he has steered me to here. But um, it's, faith is something that, it's just something that's very important to myself, and uh, it's, it's just been an integral part of, of the political process as well. I think, you know, God has given us all free will and, you know, we can make our own minds up, but he also has given us the intelligence to, to be able to cipher through the, some of the uh, issues. And I think if you don't get involved in politics, um, again, I don't think that you're not being a good citizen. And, you know, when you look at the, uh, the blood, sweat, and tears that has gone into uh, this, this country and fighting for our freedom, and, and we are so blessed to live in this country, um, I think that that's, you know, faith was a, a part of it from the very beginning. Yeah. So it, it, you, I don't think that you can, I think it's very sad when you see how they, you know, and with politics how some folks try to take it out completely. I think that was misinterpreted at one point. Yeah, I, I, I think that there's so many places you can go with this. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And my eyes are getting up. But, uh, <laughs> the, you know. Give it to a minute. Yeah, right. The, there's two sides of this, I think. One is, you know, I think a lot of people want to take faith out of our country, right, or out of our belief mm -hmm. system. And that's so sad because our country was founded on, on the Christian faith. If you, if you look at the Constitution, there was no other book quoted more directly than the Bible. There's more quotes directly out of the Bible than any other book or any other um, uh, reference that they used to write our Constitution. So that's important to remember that these were men of faith when they wrote the Constitution. So this country was founded on that. But what's also interesting is that there's an elect group here in this country that wants to wipe faith out and be a secular nation, and they're trying to force that on other countries. And I think that's what creates a lot of wars and strife outside this country. Other countries, their life is all about faith in politics. They intertwine them, and it's all about. So, you know, this, this belief that you can separate the two is just, I think, a, a, a misguided belief that really throws people off balance. And when someone tries to strip themselves of their faith and make decisions without having that in their having their convictions as part of those decisions, it's got to be very unnerving, you know. Mm -hmm. And and, keep, and it does keep people off balance and make them fumble, you know. So, so I would I'd love to see more politicians, especially. Um, you know, embrace that and understand that, look, hey, this is my faith, this is what I believe, there it is, okay? You wouldn't have to make the argument all the time, right? If this is what I believe, I don't have to defend it, right? Now, um, you know, for people to say, I love when people have certain, uh, we just use an electric, uh, excuse me, elected officials because you happen to be here, but I love when some people say, well, that's how he is at home, but that's not going to affect his presidency or his whatever, whatever. I think it does. I mean, whatever you grew up on, whatever you learned, I'm uh, sure people can change. But if your core values are this, and you're trying to, you know, espouse this, it's never going to work. It's going to be confusing.